Okay, so there's one more um, option that I wanted to show us here, and it's a different way to scroll horizontally. And we're gonna do that with the drag um, option. So, and we're gonna do this first with adding a button. So um, I assume that everybody does know how to create buttons and then attach that to it. But if that's not true, I'm gonna actually do that as a, as a beginning step here as well. So I need to be in the design environment and I'm just gonna use the rectangle. I'm gonna come down here and create a rectangle and then go to the prototype environment and drag uh, its wire back over to the first screen. Now, when I, in this particular case though, to get there, I'm going to make the trigger be not tap, which is the one we've been using, but instead use drag. And I'm gonna keep automate, auto automate as the action. And let's test that out. See if that works. So we're on that second screen already. So I'm gonna scroll down towards the bottom. And actually let's go through what we have so far. So if I click this one, it's going to um, take me back to that first screen just by dissolving there. And then if I click on it, of course, that gives our animation and takes us to here. Again, so we'll scroll down to the same place. And instead of using this button this time, I'm going to use, I'm going to press here. Scroll to the bottom. There we go. And um, and now I can scroll and I can actually, so I'm using the mouse pad with two fingers and I can scroll back and forth horizontally and, and pause at any place along the way um, as much as I want. As soon, wherever I am though, when I let go of the two fingers, it's going to go to that first screen since that's the destination screen. 